and welcome back. Well, we are continuing our celebration of Women's Small Business Month with a step in the right direction. Many young girls dream of becoming a ballerina or a dance star, but what they may not realize is they're gaining from these dance lessons. They're gaining self-confidence, self-esteem, and compassion for others. Here to give us a tour of the Bella Via Dance Studio is Megan Zintak. She is the owner and director. Good morning to you, Megan. Good morning, Tiffany. I'm so excited to be here today. Absolutely. I was hoping you were going to be doing a plie or something with that bar there. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm a little out of practice. I just had a newborn, so none of those right now for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You look incredible. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Dance, is, dance does a body good. That's for sure. Tell me a little bit about it what does. made you it decide does. to start this business. Sure. You know, this is actually a question I've been asked a lot throughout my career. And ultimately, what it comes down to for me is legacy and leaving the world a better place. And the way I can do that is by serving and teaching our youth to hopefully become empowered women and men um, who become vital members and leaders in their communities when they're older. So, you know, dance is the way that I'm able to bring that um, to our children and to share my value and belief that dance lessons are life lessons and skills that these kids will take with them throughout their entire lives. Our entire faculty believes that we are role models and mentors to these children. We believe that Bella Via is a third space, their home away from home, a place where they can come and feel safe and comfortable and confident and feel challenged to be better human beings. Um, you know, COVID was difficult, but I think it was actually really an opportunity for us to drive home that message to our students and our parents. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, beyond just the movement that we're teaching to these kids in class, we're teaching perseverance, we're teaching hard work, we're teaching drive and grit, we're trying to instill joy and passion um, and grace. We're trying to give our kids confidence and the belief that they can do anything that they set their minds to. And if I can make the difference and my faculty can make the difference in just one child's life, then, you know, that's the legacy I hope to leave behind with Bella Via. I love every ounce of what you said. And I, I feel like everyone I know who is a dancer or grew up doing dance, they've, they've carried that through the rest of their life in some form or fashion because it seems like a lifetime Absolutely. love affair, you know, with, with being mm -hmm. a dancer. Yep. So I love that you said that. And I feel like mentors I've had, whether it be through sports or other different things that I did as well, pageantry, those people made such a huge impact in my life. And just like you're saying, you become a mentor and all the and family to all the people that you work with. You and, do? You know, I, I think even sometimes just teaching a, a young girl, is it young girls and boys or is it just young girls at your studio? Young girls and boys, yes, young girls absolutely. And boys. Sometimes it's just that, that the way that they hold themselves, you know, feels more confident yes. too. Mm -hmm. Walking into a job interview in the future and being able to, keep your shoulders down and lift your chest and hold your head high. You know, those are skills that um, follow everybody through life. Yeah, and let's not forget the, the activity and the health aspect of it as well. You know, yes. as an entrepreneur, because we're talking about Small Business Month, especially for women here, mm -hmm. and I wonder what sort of challenges you, you've faced as an entrepreneur. Sure, absolutely. Well, <laughs> a lot of challenges. I think the most prevalent and recent one would be COVID. <laughs> yeah. As for any small business owner or business owner or human being in general right now. Um, but you know, I've learned along the way through doing this that the biggest thing you can do as a business owner and entrepreneur is continue to keep growing and changing and educating yourself. So over the past year, um, the faculty and I are really proud. We are now a YPAD certified studio, which is Youth Protection Advocates in Dance. We went through a training. So we are keeping um, the health and wellness of our students and age appropriateness of classes at the forefront of everything we do. Everybody goes through thorough background checks here at the studio. Um, but having that certification is something we're really proud of in a way we've continued to educate ourselves uh, most recently. Um, you know, with, with changing and growing and being able to face challenges head on, like I said, you know, COVID is the best example of that. So we are artists here at Bellavia. So creativity is kind of our forte. You know, we're able to think outside of the box and roll with the punches. So when COVID happened, 24 hours later, we were switching to a virtual platform. We were able to continue to provide lessons to our students. Um, we did fun pop-up classes like princess tea parties. We hosted birthday parties while kids were on quarantine. Anything we could do to keep them connected to their community. 
when we came to our recital, our big performance at the end of the year, you know, that couldn't look like how we had normally done it. So we rolled out the red carpet for each student individually with their families to have a big performance here in the studio. Uh, since we opened up our doors again on July 6th, you know, things look very different this October than they did last October. Um, and we've done that by slowly rolling out um, you know, how many kids we're keeping in classes. You know, we have, uh, we are a more than just great dancing licensed affiliate, which means we adhere to their safer studio policies and guidelines. We've made those specific to what works for us and our community. And you can find a detailed version of that on our website 24 seven. But basically, you know, my teachers, my rock star faculty, who has just been phenomenal through all of this, have changed their class curriculum, putting safety and health and wellness at the forefront of everything that we're doing, driving us this season. Um, all our classes are socially distanced. We have special entrance and exit policies for the studio. We've had our lobby closed down since we opened just for, again, more safety, things like that. But the ultimate goal right now is to make sure that we can continue to provide lessons and services to our students and to our families. You know, Aww. our kids right now, their worlds have been upended and they need any sense of normalcy that they can get. And we are so happy to provide that to them and to continue to give them that sense of community and connection I that they it. are missing right now in their lives. Absolutely. And yeah. I, I just think so, the way that you've pivoted and done all that is really incredible. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Megan. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks. Bellavia Dance Studio is taking every precaution to make sure the dancer in your family is safe. For more information, just give them a call. It's 262-236-9298, or you can go to their website. It's bellaviadancestudio.com.